Hi everyone, Malibu Sean Beat, I'm here again, and I got, welcome to another episode of the Summer Sky Adventures. I got a small haul today, and I hope you like it. First up, Warship Down, which is a, the animated 12-part miniseries about the, <laughs> based on a children's book, and there, there's three part DVDs on this DVD, with four parts per DVD and I if you read the book before watching that adaptation or any adaptation up now it's Pokemon the first movie which came out way back in 1999 and and this is how you know it's gonna be a big success because Pokemon is a big success success because I, I lost count on how many movies they have out there right now. I don't know if it's about maybe 20 at least. But unlike Doug's first movie, which that's only came out, which is kind of pretentious right now because that's how many films has Doug Funny have been in? Only one. But Pokemon, you'll come up at least 20 per, of them. And I hope my friend Little Rocker 2005 is watching this because I got. Best, I mean, Pro Wrestling's Ultimate Insiders Volume 4, The Hardy Boys, and it's a shoot interview which tells them, which these people are, which Man and Jeff are gonna go uncensored and unscripted from the rise of the, from the trampoline wrestling company that they created on their father's tobacco farm to Becoming the most famous brothers in the history of pro wrestling, and no offense to you, young, the young Buck fans, which I'm one, mind you. Without the, the Matt Hardy Boys, there will be no Young Bucks. And they'll, they'll, on this DVD, you'll have get the inside scoop on some stuff like multi, their multiple gimmicks, their first indie show, their the first time in the WWF, their feuds with the Edge and Christian. And they're interacting with Vince McMahon, and I hope, and I hope that Little Rocker Cutie 2005 is jealous of this DVD find. Up now, a Japanese film that I've seen a few times, which I saw gave to a few friends, or over time, it's Sukiyaki Western Sean Django, and it's. And this film is fucking bizarre. And so and this film has Quentin Tarantino in this film. I shit you not. He appears is in this film. And if you want and I highly recommend watching this film if you just at least once if you're into the Django franchise. Up now, it, we I have Tom Hanks in the Da Vinci Code, and it's I seen this film once. It'll make you question your beliefs and make you look at statistics a little bit closer. And uh, also in this film, we have Ian McSir, Ian McKellen, Alfred Molina, Jurgen Prochnow, and Jean Reno, which who are, who. Or all of those people are in famous films that, are, that some nerds might know, like there's Sean Reno was in the remake of Rollerball and Godzilla, the 1998 version, which was a POS film. Both films were POS films. My you, speaking of POS films, Twilight. That's right. The movie that made vampires into fucking pussies. That's right. To all you twihards out there, come at me. Vampires are not supposed to sparkle. You s hell, Tom Cruise played a vampire many years ago, and he and and that was a badass vampire. Hell, Gary Oldman played a vampire. He was badass. Christopher Lee played a vampire. That he was badass. But Robert Pattinson. He destroyed the mythos of vampires. 
And that's all I got so far this year. I mean, just time on the Center Scavengers. I hope you like what I chose, picked up, and I'll see you next time.